Oh man, so man, I just want to know like, have people been this insane? Or with social media progressing and so many things like being able to watch live videos and stuff, is social media just progressing and we've seen, we're finally seeing how insane people truly are. So what we got going on is a situation where a woman named Khadija Brown was having an argument on Facebook Live with her husband. Her husband was on some chill shit. He's like, man, listen, I just want to go. She's confronting him and her mother's there um, as well confronting him. And he's like, listen, don't touch me. Just let me leave. I just want to go. They continue to, you know, be rowdy with them. Mainly, mainly the girl. The mama wasn't being as rowdy, but she was still confronting him about something that she wanted to speak about. But he wasn't trying to talk about it. He was trying to leave. But things escalated to the man losing his life. After the lady was trying to intimidate him for trying to leave. And she was like waving a firearm around. And it seems like based on the audio that the firearm went off by mistake because her reaction, you could tell that she didn't mean to do it, but it doesn't matter. Why was the gun brought out in the first place? I'm going to play the Facebook live up until that point due to YouTube's community guidelines. I cannot, I repeat, I cannot showcase the, the audio of the reaction, the gunshot going off. I cannot do to community guidelines. All right. But let's get into everything that led to this whole story. As y'all been looking at the footage, man, shit was all good just a week ago, man. It was all good, but it looks like the lady Khadija Brown found out that her husband was possibly cheating. You know, she found this information. She posted it saying cheater. And this is a message from some lady named Jessica Reader. It says, um, hey, sexy, how you been? Call me. This is Jeremy you work with at National Cell and Lease. She posted this as well saying National Cell and Lease Manager F's his employees, Jeremy Rock Brown. She also posted this. I have a bisexual husband. Jeremy Rock Brown tagging the dude. So then the last thing that's on the page is the IG live that I'm going to show you up to the point where things turn out for the worst. Now this happened in Columbus, Mississippi. Now once again, what you're gonna see is the guy trying to leave. He's trying to leave, he has real chill, chill temperament up until the point where I'm assuming the firearm was presented as she's trying to threaten him saying things like, I'm gonna kill you tonight, you feel me? Once again, I'm gonna play you up until that point as of now, she has not had it. She hasn't had a bond that's been set. She shouldn't receive a bond, in my opinion. But you're gonna go ahead and hear everything play out. Her mother's right there and everything. We'll come back with some light commentary after that point. You know, people want to have something to say, but he ain't here with his kids. He ain't helping. Uh, he left what at six o. He left at six o six to go be with his mama. Over here trying to cook something to eat. Instead of trying. Why is there gotta be a question about do do I need to cook for the kids? Why is there a question? He don't he don't never have the question. He don't want to question everybody's loyalty. But where is his loyalty? At? But he wanna talk about me when I am not doing. He wanna talk about me when I'm not doing. Uh, talk about unnecessary. Then he talking about calling the police. Talk about I'm gonna get my stuff. But you got four kids and a wife. It's seven thirty six. He came in. He, be, he can't even come here and cook for these kids. He can't even come here and cook for the kids. He got to be at work at 8 o'clock. Nah, matter of fact, he got to be at work at 9. Okay, well, he still got time to cook for these kids. And then he got to go pick up his, he got to go pick up his buddy from, from, from his job, Law. Well, he need to tell Law, he need to find, get his mama car and go to work. He, he, he pick up his buddy Law, take him to work, back like and forth said, every day. I, I ain't got nothing to but do then, nobody, helping nobody, but... If but he can't put him, gas in both cars. That's what I'm saying. If law ain't getting him no gas money to go to work, talk about people got stuff. Okay, you, you wanna he wanna put it like that? Oh, I got stuff to do too. I'm over here. I got stuff to do too. I'm over here. I'm over here putting the Yeah, what you on the phone with? Uncle, I'm home. I'm talking about uncle. I'm over here. I'm no, you ain't trying to get ready for work. Look at him. This is a sad case, y'all. He getting his stuff. Look at that. Sad case. Work as a father. Okay, Jeremy, what is the conversation you want to have? We good. Yeah. And your baby in the room? conversation you want to have? We good. Give me my phone, bro. What is the conversation you want to have? What the conversation? Get out of my he phone. He said, what's the Don't conversation? Touch Don't touch me. I call the police over here. Don't do not touch me. He said, what's the conversation y'all want to have? Yeah. What's, the, what's the conversation yeah. you want to have? Oh, I'm finna send that. Don't get you touch me, please. 
Ain't nobody touch me. I'm gonna send my cousin over here to do not touch me. Don't call nobody over here. Oh, wait. Tell your daughter to keep her hands on me. Tell your daughter to keep her hands on me. You don't want to slap me. You don't want to slap me hit me. No, I'm not. Hit me not. Hit me not. You don't want to slap me. Hit me not. Hit me not. What is the conversation? Oh man, oh man, that's what I'm finna do. I'm, I'm finna get out. I ain't really trying to hide anyway. Oh, I'm just trying to get out. No, nah, no, nah, you wanna go tell your family about this and about that. You wanna do this? I'm trying to leave from over here and pee, man. I ain't trying to argue at all. Let me take my car key off. Stop. 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 Okay, so y'all heard all that, man. You can go to Facebook to see the full video. I'm not going to play the full video due to YouTube community guidelines. But you're going to hear the gunshot go off. Her and her mother start going insane, berserk as they're reacting. She's like, I'm going to go to jail. And they don't know what to do. The girl didn't intend to do it, but she did it. A gun shouldn't have been brought out, especially after the man was so calm. He should have did what he said he was going to do immediately and call the police. You can't play with your life, man. If you have these people out here threatening you like this, don't play with your life. Immediately call the police. And once again, this is not victim blaming. I say this all, my, all the time on my channel. This is not victim blaming. This is victim prevention. We do stories like this. We cover stories like this so people can see if they possibly come in situations, how to avoid them, how to maneuver through them. This is why I put things out there like this because I'm like, damn, this is very unfortunate. And especially as a man. You can't give these women any more leeway when it comes to being abusive towards you. Don't give them no more leeway. Call the police immediately to prevent this from happening. From the very first time he said it, he should have been dialed on that shit. Don't even say, I'm going to, um, if you keep, nope, just call him, bro. But at the same damn time, I want to be sensitive to that family, Jeremy Brown's family. I'm sorry that y'all got to go through this. You seen them children at the beginning of the video, they're losing both of their parents in one night. In one night. Both of their parents going in one night. Over some stupid shit. And now the world gotta see it. Listen, Khadijah Brown, she gotta take this L. Hold this L as a lesson learned. And everybody else, learn from these folks as well. Especially men. It's time for y'all to go ahead and um use that shield as protection too. Start calling law enforcement if you're in situations like this. Because we know how things can go. Either someone can lie on you. Or they can leave your ass lying in a ditch six feet deep. Protect yourself. Victim prevention is all what we about, man. But I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, though, man. Rest in peace to Jeremy Brown. It's your boy Stacy. Yo.